respect for the children that have been aborted, the millions of children that have been aborted over the last several decades. That's the kind of hypocrisy that we see throughout this border collapse. Remember Hillary Clinton, she's going to be the candidate for women's issues. She's going to stand strong and show that women have arrived. And yet, I hope you've seen the tape. You need to listen to this tape of Hillary Clinton a few decades ago. It's kind of funny, her Southern accent that is still there. She was 27 at the time that she defended a pedophile rapist. She's just a couple of years older at the time this tape is made. And she's laughing about how she got this guy off. She's laughing about how he passed a polygraph, destroyed her confidence in polygraphs forever. This is the woman who is going to stand for women's rights. And Pelosi talks about children having the light of God in them as she pushes to require abortions. Very, very telling the hypocrisy that's going on at the border. This should roll all this back. We'll be right back. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose i jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day i look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality and get the day started it's not just the super male vitality all the products in infowarslife.com are simply amazing visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from infowars life a chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. 
X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888 253 3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. <laughs> Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host, and I'm going to be taking some of your phone calls. Let me give you the uh, Sunday number. It's a little bit different from the weekday number. It's 877-789-ALEX. That's 877-789-ALEX or 789-2539. Now, we've been talking about the hypocrisy of what's going on with the border collapse in so many different ways. Uh, and I want to get your take on that, on the hypocrisy, on the planned economic collapse that we see as NAFTA has, is going from a, uh, a law, a trade agreement that they enacted 20 years ago to an accomplished fact as they destroy the borders. But I want to point out one more article here that's up on uh, Infowars.com. Obama sends the CIA to the UK to probe terrorist, quote, breeding ground. In a pointed snub to MI5, he sends a lone wolf mission to interrogate British security experts. In other words, you guys uh, can't really handle the terrorists in your midst, so we're going to uh, send some CIA guys on a junket to the UK, and they're kind of uh, taking a bit of uh, offense to that. And it really points out the hypocrisy that we've got, again, of this, of this uh, story that I read just a few minutes ago about the Mexican military helping drug dealers. They're assisting these drug cartels coming across the border and get into a shootout with 30 U.S. law enforcement agents. And, of course, those are going to be state and local agents because the federal agents have been told to stand down. And the FBI, again, tries to downplay that as being uh, any issue. And it's not just drug deals that are coming into our our country uncontrolled at the border. Terrorists from any country can bring anything they wish, and yet Obama sends the CIA to the UK to help them to make sure that they aren't a terrorist breeding ground. We're not going to protect our borders, but we're going to micromanage how they handle things in their country. Just, just great. I want to get your take on that. Now, we had uh, Jakari Jackson and Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs go down to the Nancy Pelosi photo op yesterday down at the border. She was there. The uh, president of Honduras uh, was uh, down on our borders as well because, you know, we're all one big happy family now. And uh, they were not allowed to go and talk to her. Even though they had sent their credentials in advance, they had gone through all the paperwork, they were held back at a distance. They were not allowed to get there because... This was essentially a photo op. I don't think anybody asked any questions. I didn't see her answering any questions. But they had some questions for her, and they still asked them. Here's a clip that we've got from that. Ms. Pelosi, your daughter said there's no way to secure the border. Did you fill her head with that nonsense? Or is that because you guys just don't want to do your job? She's rushing away. This is at a distance. They're keeping them back quite a ways. That's why he's having to shout that out. Of course, no response. <laughs> Hello? Hello? No response. That's what happens. That's why they don't want us at these events, because we're going to ask them some questions. You know, we might also ask them about uh, NAFTA. But this is what she had to say in her prepared remarks about NAFTA. And I included this now with, I've spliced this in with the remarks from General Petraeus that he made in London about America being over and being replaced with NAFTA. Here are those comments. Anyone who comes here sees that this is a community with a border going through it. Boldly proclaimed this is the betrayals. coming North American decades as the title now. It's founded on recognition that if you put these three economies together, as has been the case 20 years into the North American Free Trade Act implementation, uh, you find unique uh, countries in terms of demographics. We're all Americans in this hemisphere, North and South America, and this crisis that some call a crisis, we have to view as an opportunity. That's right. Every crisis is an opportunity if you want to extend your control. And of course, 
every crisis needs to have children as a part of it as well. They always have to be the cause that we're protecting. You know, the children, if they want to take away the borders, it's uh, so that they can help children. If they want to take away our right to keep and bear arms, to protect ourselves, to keep a check and a balance against tyranny in this government, in this country, that, of course, has to be taken away to protect children. It always comes along that way. Now, Alex Jones is going to be joining us at the bottom of the hour, talking about how the global meltdown has begun. And I want to people to think about how these people who are trying to exercise global control, how they operate. Look at what they've done with NAFTA. Now, of course, as Petraeus was talking about, he says, well, we're 20 years into NAFTA now. And so now we're ready for North America. And he made these remarks just before the border began collapsing. Now, Nancy Pelosi is saying we have a community that just happens to have a border running through it. Well, it's not a border anymore, not any more than the sense of the border between Texas and Oklahoma. And that's what they're looking at. They're looking at it being that kind of border. What they have done is they've, argued, they've operated for 20 years in their minds as a North American union. Now they're making it an accomplished fact. In other words, they've had it as NAFTA de jour, as the law. Now they're making it NAFTA de facto, an accomplished fact. And this should really concern us in many other areas, because if you look at things like the NDAA, where they wrote a law that says that they can arrest anyone and hold them indefinitely with the military without trial, and many other things that they have done, this is the way they operate. They enact the law to cover their illegal actions. And then down the road, they say, we've had this law for 10 years now, 20 years now. Now we're going to enforce it. That's the way this is going to happen. They're going to do the same thing there that they're doing now with NAFTA. Let's go to some of your calls. Uh, let's go to uh, Bruce in Ontario. Bruce? Oh, hello, David. Uh, I was calling because uh, there was a report issued to uh, Barack Obama in 2009 titled uh, North American Next. And this was issued by uh, Robert Pastor, who, you know, authored the uh, rebuilding the or building a North American community in 2001. So he kind of postulated the North American community into uh, existence. And now this report, uh, I don't know if the guys in the booth, people at home want to look it up. It's called North American Next. It's put out by a university in Arizona. Uh, That's North American what? That North American Next. Net? Next. And next, next, yes, yes. Put out by NACTS, North American Center for Transborder Studies. And there's a lot of information in that report. It's maybe a 25-page report. Um, and if you guys can find it, turn to page 15, because it says right on page 15 that uh, what they want to do is move the internal borders away from the borders and to the factory and the farm. So mm -hmm. that's what we are... Well, I, I think it's interesting that you would have uh, North America next, because that was the question that David Petraeus was answering at that London conference. After America, what's next? And he said, well, that's simple. It's North America. And he said he had been talking about that with a question mark. And he says, now I've removed the question mark. So he's removed the question mark and Homeland Security has removed the borders. Thank you very much. Yeah, people look that up. It's North America Next. Is that correct, Bruce? Yeah, North America okay. Next put out by NACTS. You just search that. Uh, turn to page 15, because that's quite significant All right. um, for what you guys are covering. We'll let people and look that up, and we always like to give our sources on things, and we have listeners who will actually look this stuff up. That's the difference between our listeners and those who are listening to mainstream media. They don't check the sources. Check that. Find out what's going on for yourself. Convince yourself. You'll see it there. We'll be right back with your calls and with Alex Jones' special report at the bottom of the hour. Stay with us. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and promote homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is 
designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership.